I have begun playing some Skyrim again, and I would like to show a few mods that I've added. Uh, for one thing, we actually uh, have a working version of Sky UI now for Skyrim VR. So, I tried to make a video earlier where I uh, actually got Sky UI working with uh, Skyrim VR, but but only partially, so it would crash really uh, pretty fast, and uh, and there were a lot of features that wouldn't work probably anyway. Uh, even when it didn't crash. So overall it didn't really make much sense to uh, to actuate it. Um, but there has been a version now that's uh, been made that does work and I think I can actually show it here. Let's see... No. Mm. Which screen is this? Yep, yeah, the OD Sky UI we are. Um, so OD he continued on the uh, original source of of Sky UI, and he has now made up to uh, beta four of it. He has worked on it for some time, and I just didn't hear ab hear about it until now. Um, so yeah, in Alpha four he got gift menu working. Not sure what menu that is. I'm guessing it's to give items to others. Um, crafting menu. So he's just made different things working, and since it's only 11 days since he added something last time, I'm guessing he is still working on it. Um, uh, but I, saw, I have also added a few mods. Um, other than Sky UI, uh, but first let's look a bit at Sky UI, and it seems to work pretty well. And you got these uh, 3D objects you can see in the menu. Uh, that's rather awesome, I think. Uh, now I'm in the Mage College. In the ruins of Sarthor nearby, it's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Oh. continues to struggle with walls. You have time to practice? Maybe later. I'm sort of busy now. Gisargo understands. You hesitate because you know Gisargo would be better than you. <laughs> Very well. Well, as you can see, one of the new mods is actually a VR body. So uh, there was a mod called um, Armored Hands, where you could show your hands in VR. Uh, but I think this is a lot cooler, where you actually have a full body, uh, even though it has a few glitches like this. But uh, yeah, that shouldn't be that much of a problem. Um, oh, another feature of Sky UI. Uh, here, if you go to the menu, you have the mod configuration menu. That's one of the things you get with Sky UI, and uh, you actually get to be able to configure all your mods. Um, so that's nice to have. Um, yeah. Um, it should also mean that, uh, from what I've read, on if it doesn't require the DLL file directly for Sky UI, then uh, then Sky UI mods on on Nexus mods and so on, they uh, they should now work. Um, oh, and. Uh, I think the last time I recorded Skyrim UI, it lagged a whole lot, but that was probably uh, the the reason it has changed. Is probably that I now have a twenty eighty Ti graphics card, um, and uh, for VR, I really think this uh, extra bit of performance helps.
I wonder what we will find in Sarthal. Hopefully there are some ancient relics. Excluding Toldfer, of course. <laughs> oh. And this is the Sphere, also a mod. Uh, so, character that can help you in the game. Uh, one of, and uh, this shows that there is a Bandelia patch also. And it also works in VR, so I can see the Bandelia patches on my body. Uh, let's see. So it actually does show how your body would look like in, uh, or how it does look like because of it shows uh, even the jewelry you add on, and so on. Mm. Peace. Nice. Well, it does lag a bit, I think. Um, there should be some new settings now. Um, for Steam, we are where you could possibly make it run smoother. But it, what it does is something similar to uh, what you can have with. Um, what you can have with uh, Oculus Rift or uh, yeah, the Oculus um, it has a feature where it can where it can ensure that you don't get the uh, lag by uh, re repeating some of the frames that uh, if it begins to lag uh, so it makes it all look a lot smoother um, and there should be something similar now for For Steam, let's see if I can find it. Mm, depends on where Steam we are is. There we go. And settings. It has actually, on its own, reduced the uh, this, uh, graphic settings to 56%, and you can uh, increase it up to 500%. Mm. Let's see, I think if it were, was running perfectly, it uh, wouldn't have these red stripes. I wonder if I can move it to... yes I could. Um, let's move the whole thing. Oh, here we have reproduction is enabled. So it should already be using the reproduction. Um, I can try to also enable it here. It still looks like it's lacking a bit, maybe. <coughs> mm. And the map. How do I get out of the map? So long since I've played it.
But yeah, <coughs> I have quite a lot of uh, mods actuated. Is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, here we are outdoors, and well, I think it runs pretty well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show. Uh, well, maybe we could test a few things, like uh, what if I equip my swords uh, and uh oh. I guess I got some, the VR body still got some bots. There are a lot of uh, add-ons for the VR body. Uh, maybe one of those would fix this. Um, but it seemed like some many of the things would work with just the updated VR body itself. Um, pretty nice graphics. Lightly armored means light on your feet. Smart. Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Winterhold belongs to Skyrim, not the Imperials or the mages. Oh well. Um. But yes, that's what I wanted to show. Uh, it seems to be running well. Um, but then I'm not especially prone to to motion sickness, so yeah. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you got any much you can recommend and so on, please uh, mention about it in the comments. <laughs>